spectacular stuff. And that semifinal is a rematch of the Cincinnati final just a couple weeks ago. Coco took that in straight sets for her first 1,000 title. John, it's been a, uh, quite the progression, right? You get first 500 level title, first 1,000 title, and now two wins from her first major title. Who, who else is old enough to remember Wimbledon 2023? It's like two months ago, we were saying, what's going <laughs> yeah. on with Coco Goff? Should we, oh, should we think about redoing her grip on panic, the forehand? Should panic. she take time off? Um, it's been a nice summer post Wimbledon. You know, she played Muhammad, as you say, Steve, in that Cincinnati final, you know, what, two, two and a half weeks ago. And I, I told him, well, you can't count that because it was really hot that day and it was, uh, you know, the, the conditions were oppressive. That might well be the case when they play again. So I think there actually is probably some predictive value in that. Probably doesn't hurt that Coco knows, A, I've beaten this player recently, and B, she kind of wilted in the heat. I mm. think this uh, may may favor Coco. I yeah, mean, look, who, who said you can't count that final, though? Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Right. Oh, <laughs> my, 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 I'm my, curious. Uh, this is my, my heavily biased group text where people have uh, fans. But, but yeah, I, I think that match has real sort of resonance here, and I think that will be fresh on both of their minds. I think Muhova has the game style that can cause problems. My, my biggest question is, does she have it against this tremendous athlete in this venue at this moment? You know, there's going to be a lot of things pushing against her crowd, history, what happened in Cincinnati. So we're going to see how well Carolina can kind of get through the mental stuff that allows you to play the way you want to play. I, I trust Coco in this moment. I know what she's going to be able to do with the athleticism if she has to defend. So me, it's about managing the moment, who's going to play the big points better, and you have to lean Coco at this stage right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been fun to see the progression of Coco, and you yeah. talk about the titles she's won recently, step up each time. Remember beginning of the year, winning Auckland, that was, what, a 250? Yeah. I mean, that seems like so long ago when you consider the changes, the adjustments in her game just over this summer period. And I think that is part of what's going to help give her the advantage in this match. It's still going to be a tough battle, but this was that Cincinnati final. Oh, is this the one that doesn't count? That's yeah, the one right. that doesn't Who count. That? But it, it, was count. Name, John. it was It was hot <laughs> North American <laughs> hardcore. Why would that be relevant? Exactly, going into the U.S. Open where it's going to be hot and on hardcore. <laughs> but this was a real crowning moment for Coco Golf, especially after beating Iga Sviantek yeah. for the first time um, this week in Cincinnati. So I think that mentally, her mindset, she's just in a different place. And I think that gives her a bit of an advantage. But she's going to have to work through some different problems that Mukova poses. Uh, it is challenging to constantly be under pressure, to have to hit passing shots um, all the time. She's so good with her hands at the net. Can golf match her mm. in that department? I think she can uh, in, in some instances. So it'll be interesting to see the interplay in this match. Hopefully they both play well. And we just see a good battle. Well, there are two better athletes on tour. Uh, this will be two, two real jocks going at it. Coco would get to number three in the world if she wins this event. So that's, that's another incentive. Ten matches in a row. First time she's won double-digit matches in a row in her career. You get that dirty dozen. You get your first <laughs> right. major title.